In both of our engines, we're going to use a non-stock length connecting rod. Connecting rod length is a very controversial subject at best. However, most engine builders will agree that there are advantages into running a longer than stock length connecting rod in most applications. These advantages are derived from reduced rod angularity, which reduces piston scuffing, a change in the piston acceleration characteristics throughout its, the piston stroke, increased dwell time of the piston rod at top and bottom dead center, which lessens the strain on a piston rod assembly. All of these net themselves in increased engine durability and power gains. Now let's take a look at our three connecting rods. On my left is a factory 400 connecting rod. It measures 5 inch 560,000 center to center. Also notice the short bolt pad and bolt. This has made this short from the factory to ensure adequate connecting rod bolt to cam lobe clearance. Next, we'll look at a 5.7 inch Chevrolet connecting rod from a 350. Is this type rod that we're going to use in our street and limited strip engine. However, notice that on the 5.7 rod, the bolt pad and the bolt are quite a bit longer than that of the 400. It may be necessary to grind a small amount of metal from the top of the bolt and the top of the bolt pad to arrive at adequate connecting rod to cam clearance. This rod bolt has already been machined. We recommend that this procedure be done in a milling machine to give yourself accurate results and a very consistent surface on the bolt. It can also be done carefully with a file or on a bench grinder. Taking a look at our third and final connecting rod, it's a six inch aftermarket connecting rod made by Oliver. It was specially designed for a long stroke crank and they call it a stroker rod. If you notice, like the 400 rod, it has a short bolt pad and bolt. This ensures us more than adequate rod to camshaft clearance without any modifications. Next, we'll look at how we prepared our connecting rods for the engines. The first step in preparing the connecting rod for our use is to remove the forging line along the entire length of the beam. We want to take off as little metal as necessary to accomplish this. When the beam is properly polished, it should look similar to this. Also, you should round the edge and the inside edge along the beam. Once again, removing as little material as necessary to have a nice, rounded, polished area. Next, with the bolts removed, we want to concentrate in this area of the connecting rod. We have many intersecting planes in these areas which all result in high stress areas. By taking a small file and radiusing these edges and rounding them, blending them together, we remove much of the stress. We also want to take a counter bore and radius and chamfer underneath the head of the bolt and also the area just under the nut. The Oliver rod comes to us completely prepared. It already has full radiusing and polishing all the way around the beam, the full length of the beam, has no sharp intersecting planes, and is already chamfered in the bolt area. All we have to do with this rod is wipe it off and put it in. However, the Oliver rod also differs from the factory connecting rod in a few other ways. In one way it differs is that it uses a cap bolt instead of a bolt and a nut. These are inherently stronger because you have more thread contact in the rod than the nut does on the factory bolt. Another area that the rod differs is in its construction in the cap area. Looking at the Oliver cap, we'll notice these two alignment barrels. These barrels have a precision fit and alignment up into the connecting rod itself to ensure positive alignment time after time. It also stabilizes the cap to the rod 
more precisely. Looking at the factory connecting rod and cap, you'll notice that it's the shoulder of the bolt that aligns it into the cap. There are no aligning barrels. They are less stable and repeat alignment is not as good. With a combination of proper redimensioning in conjunction with top quality connecting rod bolts and a little TLC from you on the beams and the bolt pads, your factory connecting rods can be converted into adequate pieces for your street and limited strip applications, even with the three and three quarter stroke of the 400. However, in any other applications that are more demanding, we strongly recommend that you use an aftermarket connecting rod with its superior strength and reliability.